Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to open a link and a new tab in the background with the iPad. I'm going to begin by launching Safari. As you can see, I have the Apple website loaded in Safari. At the top of the Apple website, you will see a navigation menu. If I simply tap where it says iPad, the website will go to that link. I'm going to press the back button to go back to the main Apple website. On the iPad, I can use the power of tab browsing to keep the main Apple website open in a tab, and I can open a link in a different tab. If I press and hold the iPad link, a variety of additional options will be available. In this case, I'm going to select Open in a new tab. The iPad link has opened in a new tab, while the main Apple website is still open in a different tab. Tab browsing with the iPad is great, and you can have as many as nine tabs open at once. To close a tab, select the X on the left side of the active tab. However, it can be somewhat annoying when you open a link in a new tab, and that new tab opens in the foreground, taking you away from the tab that you are currently on. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. Again, I'm going to open up the iPad link in a new tab. And when I do this, the iPad tab opens up, which means that I left the Apple main site. However, this can be changed to allow new tabs to be opened in the background. To make this change, we must go to the Settings app. In the left-hand column, make sure that Safari is selected. In the Safari settings in the right column, go to Open New Tabs in the background and turn this feature on. Now I'm going to go back to Safari, and once again, I'm going to open the iPad link in a new tab. Once again, I'm going to press and hold the iPad link and select open in a new tab. This time the link is opened in the background, which means the link is opened, but the iPad doesn't make this tab the active tab. This will allow the user to keep viewing the current page for as long as they want before selecting to view the other tabs. Well, there you have it, opening a link in a new tab in the background with the iPad. And until next time, this is Simply Apple.